There is no stopping Jeff Cobb, and my God, I hope that Kevin Kelly is right. I'm John Rantham with my review of New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax 31 Night 14 event. B Blocka action, and we're getting down to the titty gritty. I think that's how that saying goes. And we're really just down to a few people that could be in full B Blocka contention to win B Blocka. I'm going to keep saying B Blocka and A Blocka because thanks to a friend of mine, I can never unhear it. No matter how many times I try to unhear it, no matter how many times I try to beat it out of my skull. Anyway... Outside of one match that was really fucking shitty because it was the same old shit, same old shit, same old shit, over and over and over, forever, forever and a day that's never, this is actually a pretty good show. Anyway, Kevin Kelly doing solo commentary. Hiromu took on Oiwa. I'm just going to start writing down the last names and how I hear them because I'm never going to be able to pronounce the full names. I'm just fucking terrible when it comes to a lot of Japanese names and I don't want to insult them. So anyway, the chops were laid in. There were a lot of chops. I think this match was like 95% chops, but that wasn't the worst thing in the world. But holy fucking hell, Oiwa's chest was goddamn red, and there was a Boston Crab for the win. Not a bad match. Hiromu got a victory, obviously, as you would expect. Tai Chi took on Tamatanga. I wrote down, please be bared in that Iron Fingers from Hell ladder match that was fucking atrocious. One of the worst things I've seen. I understand trying to do variations of things, you know, trying to do different things, trying to drum up interest, because Lord knows with some of the creative decisions that Gato has made, they're really trying everything, just throwing a whole bunch of shit at the wall to see what sticks, and some of the stuff that has stuck there has just been absolute shit, and they think, well, that's working, people are pissed off, no, people are pissed off for the wrong goddamn reasons, but back to this match, Tai Chi had bandaged ribs, who could out heal who? Jado was there, obviously, as you expect. Jado's getting around a whole lot because he's uh, managing or cornering Tamatanga and Tangaloa, who are in, you know, both B Blocka and A Blocka. And again, sorry, I can't unhear it. it. Wasn't bad. There was some good, you know, rib targeting, some good kicks. Uh, there was a missed splash. We get uh, more rib targeting. We get a uh, snap Saito. We get a splash for two. Look like Tai Chi might get the victory. But oh no no, gun's done. One, two, three. And that's it. There you go. Tamatanga gets two more points. So we get Sonata versus Yoshihashi. It was fine enough. Um, Yoshihashi can work. I just find him boring. Incredibly boring. Seriously, I don't think you understand how much I loathe how boring he is. Sonata makes it look easy if he could stop coasting and actually really put in the effort. I would appreciate it. But he, he, he just is a goddamn natural. He's really good. So... <clears throat> Yoshiashi was a bit more heelish. Sonata does come back. We get some nice reversals. A skull in. TK off the ropes. We do uh, get a, um, you know, Muda Moon Salt and skull in for the win. So at least the right guy won because I don't really need to see Yoshihashi in contention for anything. The fact that he is still one third of the never open weight six man champions or, you know, holds one of those titles after 400 some odd days is proof that maybe those titles don't really matter all that much. It's a shame because Goto and Tomohiro Ishii are really good, you know, talents to put titles on, but Yoshihashi is just kind of there to be, you know, the guy that reminds you that, oh yeah, he can wrestle and he's boring. So anyway, speaking of boring, here's the human equivalent of NyQuil, Chase Owens, who I loathe, can't stand, just bored by, can work, but that's it. That's where the interest stops. So anyway, he took on Okada. I actually wrote down, if they have Chase beat Okada like he beat Tanahashi, I'm done. I would actually not review the rest of this tournament. I'd be give up. And I understand you got to try to have heels win. You got to try to drum up interest. But Chase beating Okada would have been ridiculous. Now, thankfully, that didn't happen. But they came a little bit too close on some of them. Or some of these uh, spots. And we did get a money clip variation where he rolled through and kind of got almost a, you know, clutch type uh, version. Which if he uses that, that's fine. He got the victory there. So Okada wins. Hooray. And he saves perfect in this tournament. Evil versus Goto. Oh boy, the timekeeper got knocked over twice. Because that's a funny spot. Man, that timekeeper must be getting paid uh, <coughs> double time and a half. Dick kept repeating, uh, repeatedly inserting himself from behind. Poor Goto, that's what I wrote down, and Evil wins, and it was shit. It, pretty much all of Evil's matches have been generally shit, unless you just have him straight up wrestle, because he can work. He can work, and yes, cheating is one thing, but when it's the same repetitive stuff and it's so contrived and ridiculous, makes the referee look dumb, Evil wins and stays in contention. Is anybody clamoring for Evil to uh, be in contention for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship again? I'm not. I mean, if you are, that's fine. I'm not. <clears throat> so, Evil wins. Jeff Cobb versus Tanahashi. Crowds is into it. 
Cobb clearly had the power edge. Tana said, okay, he has a power edge. I'm going to knock his knee repeatedly. Boom, boom, boom. He just kept targeting it. Dragon screws, dragon screw the rope. Tana, though, this is getting sad. Tana, he does have an iron will, but he can't really fucking go anymore. Like, any time he tries to do a move off the top, he did aces high at one point. He bounces off of Cobb. That probably hurt more than hitting the goddamn floor. Um... He did hit a nice sling blade. He did hit the high fly flow, or tried to, but it got countered. <clears throat> but since Cobb was selling his knee, that hurt him. And then we get another sling blade for two. We get F5 out, out of nowhere. And then we get an inside cradle from Tanahashi. Oh, no, no, for close to, very close to. But then, tour of the islands, nobody can stop Jeff Cobb. And there we go. Jeff Cobb gets the victory. Let's run the point total down. That was English. So we get Hiroshi Tanahashi at 6, Okada at 14, Yoshihashi and Goto at 4, um, Sonata at 6, Taichi at 4, Evil at 12, Cobb at, um, Cobb I believe at 14, since him and, um, Okada are tied. And then we get Tamatango with 4 and Chase Owens with 2. So basically it's down to, just don't have Evil win it. Don't have, don't have Evil win it, have Okada and Cobb, have it come down to them on the final night and just do that. Don't have them go for 30 minutes because then we do, watch watch them do that. Watch them do that and then they have it be a three-way. Oh my. And, uh, you know, for the, uh, you know, G1 Climax Finals. That'd be really goddamn stupid. But considering that Okada won and then Cobb won, I think Okada would probably win straight up. But I'd be all for Jeff Cobb going to the finals. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rutland. I'll see you soon.